Don't mind me if I just borrow this aqueduct, 250 gold, and also this lumber mill, and also this mine. That's a bit of gold. That's nice. We we like all that extra gold. Tasty. Oh, this would explain why the Dutch and Carthage aren't friends. Rotterdam has been taken over. It might be a loyalty flip, that, but you never know with the AI. You never know whether to trust them or not. And we're making more city-state friends now as we go. Every time I send one, just another little trade route. Delicious. Oh, Tyre is now starting to build walls. My fun is just about running out. Sometimes when the AI just refuses to build walls, you're like, okay, well, this is this is where I just abuse the situation. Mausoleum, plus one science, plus one faith, plus one culture, all coast tiles. I'll, I'll just let you know now, my capital is working a lot of these coast tiles. So we've now got a scientific and cultural hub around my capital. I think I'm just going to get some city centre buildings here first and then we'll build a theatre square but this is looking like an amazing city now for me. Oh yeah look at that 40 science 45 culture producing so much for me so much. Let's get the ancient walls going and then I'll just get the theatre square. I think we'll just rock with that almost immediately. Oh an admiral that gives me plus three combat strength for all naval units. That's a nice one. We like that admiral a lot. Nice little trade route to this city state and I've just picked up two more envoys plus two percent culture for every great person i've ever earned it's not a lot at the moment but again it's all about visibility on the map we're opening it up we're making friends we're taking names we're having fun <laughs> yeah the units are all being killed pretty quick now okay well you know what this has been really good fun we're about to make some allies now let's just quickly get a culture burn and flip to theology i'm going to move my cards around now serfdom Two extra build actions with a builder, that's lovely. I'm just going to then now build a builder in you lose just to boost the production because as fun as this Colossus is, it looks like Norway is also building it and that's no fun. So we want to rush that one through if we can. But what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to gain sources. Then we'll go and see if we can do some nefarious activities after that point. Brussels is useful. Cities get 15% production towards wonders. Yes, please. That's lovely. And I've discovered a lot of Scotland. I really hope Scotland kind of flesh themselves out and settle well in this game. It would be lovely to see. Now, I just realized that either Chateau can be put down on marshes and it doesn't remove the marsh tiles. So suddenly this has opened up a whole other area of the game for me. I'm such a really good idea. Built another builder in a city with Liang, so let's get rid of serfdom. And what am I going to do now? I had a, I had an idea. Uh, limes. There we go. I'm actually building a lot of walls right now. Whilst the World Congress is allowing me to build city centre buildings super quick. Things like medieval walls, ancient walls, it's all good. I'm just rushing siege tactics because I'm almost a divine right. If I can get renaissance walls, I'll have a lot more diplomatic favour and we'll do a lot better on the world stage. Bit of extra pillage. Yay! We're rushing siege tactics. Oh, you're gonna keep attacking me and my swordsmen all you want, Carthage, but I am very happily just pillaging away here. Nom nom nom. You can't stop me. All of the extra stuff is happening in my city. Oh, and the consulate is done as well. So I'm up to 12 diplomatic favor a turn. Very nice little game here. Very nice little game. I'm just looking forward to my spies causing havoc, being honest. That's the main thing I'm really here for. Gain sources. There we go. Lovely. We could call in a military emergency on Bradford. Interesting. It's a 63 strength city with walls. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about it. That's the problem. There's absolutely nothing I could do about that military emergency, apart from locking me into war, so don't think that's really what I want to do. I think we're going to just let someone else call that if they want to, and I'm just... I might just stand on the side and go, hmm, don't know. Oh, we just about rushed Colossus. I was racing Norway on this one, and I chopped a wood down to rush it through, but we did it. We got the two envoys, we got the trade route capacity. My culture's building up nicely now. If I can start to steal some great works with my spies, you never know what might be be possible in this game. You never know. All I know is that we continue to make friends. I'm just going to quickly go and have a look and see which city-state routes we have options with. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to send them to other places that we've already been to. So Calais, I'm just gonna send it from Calais. That'll be fun. And military emergency. No, I don't want to put that through. The game's like, are you sure you don't want to go to crazy war? And I'm like, no, crazy war sounds awful. <laughs> it sounds like it's a lose-lose situation for everyone. What's the rule on a chateau again? I 
think these things were, is it bonus and a luxury resource? Yeah, it's either or, it's gotta be next to. Okay, so we can put them in a couple of places. Unfortunately, not on this tile, but it does mean I can put one in my capital on that tile, but it would not be on a river, but it would be next to the luxury. So that's a good thing. I destroyed that fish, which is probably a little bit of a mistake, but I've got the options to put one there and one there. I don't think I can put any more down for now. So that's that's okay for Chateau for me. We're, we're gonna have to just take that as it is for now. My warrior has also managed to make it across Wales and I'm now into the Irish Sea. I'm gonna guess if I can find Ireland. If I can meet everybody first, there's a lot of error scoring that. We just went over turn 100, by the way. And even though my game has been so fragmented and weird, I've done well. We're up to 70 culture, 66 science. We're doing okay. We're mid pack on everything. 22 techs, 28 is the leader but I'm within a couple of most people. I'm way ahead of the Congo, weirdly. And culture, I think we're just keeping an eye on culture because my tourism is going to be gently brilliant. 100% tourism from wonders. So the more wonders I pick up, which I've already got three, we should start to get some pretty crazy tourism very soon. No, I'm not gonna get involved in this military emergency, but I'm gonna let the world do it because it probably will go through. Who's at war with them now? Norway, England, the Dutch. Oh, I'm such a terrible ally, really, aren't I? There's monarchy. We'll keep in limes. We'll keep in urban planning. We'll keep in harvest calendar. All these things are great. Even going to put raid back in whilst I'm at war with Carthage. I like that. It's a fun thing. A little bit of extra gold and cadavasseries. I like that as well. And serfdom. What a, what a bunch of fun policy cards for me. I love all that. It's brilliant. Now that I have monarchy, we need to have a look and see basically where my spies unlock. These are the things that I need to focus on. Did you see that? Diplomatic service came up first. Then ideology, then Cold War, then nationalism. So diplomatic service then nationalism. These are the two that we need to beeline at the moment. So beeline them. We shall. Guilds. On the way to guilds. And there's my first chateau, by the way. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho. Wonderful. Wonderful building. Extra food. Extra delight. Extra wonder for all. You can stand outside my swordsman and, and look just unkindly at me all you want, but I'm gonna keep raiding your campuses. <laughs> oh, of course. Right, so Civilizations Expanded has removed the problem with chateaus where they have to be um, uh, one tile away, so you can't put two next to each other. You can, you can do it. So I can put chateau everywhere. I can put them everywhere. That changes everything. I've almost found Ireland, by the way, so that's, that's all exciting. And yeah, the swordsman will die. There we go. We've lost all of our pillaging troops now. We took as much as we could from Carthage. It was a nice boost. We probably should make peace now. Get them back as a trading buddy. You gonna give me some gold? Yeah, they'll give me some gold. Lovely. Yeah, no, the chateau just go down. I mean, perfect. I'm not complaining. If The more I can put down around my capital, the more yields of everything I get. Like, just everything. So that's awesome. Korea. I've met Korea. Okay, the first people on Ireland that we've met. Oh, why doesn't nobody have any luxuries? Why? Come on, don't do that. Mayans? Okay, we, oh, they're, they're, they're prolific on this map. I can't, do you remember last time I played Scotland and they were just underneath me, giving me grief the whole game? Oh, they have the luxuries though. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Um, let's just do it. Let's make us oh, happy and ecstatic everywhere. Yay! Oh, you're my favorite people. Well, so now sending trade routes to Venice. So this should be, that should be two. Yep, there we go. Lovely, bit more gold in my capital. And then I can send one from the here as well. So three, lovely stuff. Me, yeah, I'm just trying to think actually. Do we focus on getting Venice trade routes to foreign cities earn plus one gold for each luxury at the destination? I like the idea of just making sure that we can consolidate Venice for ourselves. So Claude now has a little bit more visibility in this city. I think we're gonna start with something easy like foment unrest. I wanna level my spies up ideally. That would be a good policy for me. And the same with this spy I think will foment unrest. I want them to level up as much as possible. We're not far of getting a couple of cards that make my spies better. Spy operations take less time as diplomatic service and then I think there's another couple of spy cards a little bit later down the line. Ideology? No, it's not that one. Cryptography. Yeah, cryptography will be really good. So there's, there's lots of things we want to pick up, but I can wait until we get them. I'm starting to make alliances as well now. I was kind of holding off for a little bit, but 
I don't need to do that anymore. I'm getting Norway as a military ally. Nice. That's handy. I've got enough targets to not worry about this. I, England, I'm, I, I was kind of, this is the reason I hadn't made alliances because I've actually been waiting for England to discover civil service so I can get a cultural alliance with them. But thinking about it, this loyalty is a lot better than I remember it. I was avoiding settling in this area just to the side of London because I literally had no loyalty pressure in that area. I would have just lost the city immediately. But looking at that, not anymore. We can claim it. Up to 17 diplomatic favor per turn and renaissance walls. I'm going to just rush renaissance walls through briefly because I've got limes up still, which is an amazing card. I love that card. But limes plus the um, world congress giving city center buildings extra time or like half tire speed or, or double speed, whatever you want to call this. I'm just going to rush the walls through now. I've got plenty of time to do it. Uh, and we can make sure that we've got as many Renaissance walls as possible and generating as much diplomatic favor as possible. Isn't it the case that as soon as you sort your shite out, I just built a settler. I've just noticed there's a settler on the way from England. I mean, it's totally my fault. I waited far too long to get it, but I mean, it is, it's comical how that's very often the case. They wait for you. They wait for you to think of the idea and then you sort of go, nope, too late. Now I'm gonna move my archer and my spearmen along in the hope that I can delay them long enough for me to settle where I want and panic them into not settling. Uh, yeah, let's just get this across. I think we can, we can, we can be a pain. I think we can be a pain. Byzantium, I think that's the last person on this map, so we've met everyone now. Yay! Perfect. Um, yeah, Byzantium really don't like me, but they do have marble. And all of my cities are ecstatic now. Hey, to be French. Everyone loves it. Yeah, Stoke was just founded. It's just in the worst place. Why would you settle a city there of all places? Come on, don't do that. All right, well, there's no no settling for me anymore on anywhere that I can see. I think I'm gonna have to go to Scotland. It sounds mad, but I think I'm gonna have to actually sail towards Scotland in order to get this to work. So I'm gonna get my units, put them in the sea, and we're just gonna go, go off to Scotland and make a Scottish colony. Like, why not? At this point, at this point, why not? Machiavellianism. I can do spy operations in less time now. Urban planning, harvest calendar. These are such rubbish cards, but it's fine. I don't mind getting them in at all. I'm kind of buying everything that's important, so settler-wise is not a problem. Not a problem for me. Right, here we go, settler. Off to sea. Off to sea with you. Go and see if you can find Scotland. Look, there's tons of room over here. We should be fine. We've got loads of barb encampments we can buy from as well. I am not worried. And I can buy, uh, build myself another spy when I'm ready. Promotion to secret agent. Yes. Secret agents are good because they give plus six diplomatic visibility when they're ready to pop. Oh, and steel technology as if two levels better. That is an amazing pickup for me. We love to see it. And one, two, Venice is now on side as well. Bam, 10 more gold per turn from trade routes. It's not a huge bonus, but it will start to add up pretty quickly. Where is the bonus? Trade routes to foreign cities, um, plus one gold to each luxury resource at the destination. Delightful. Now my spies are going to start reloading a lot quicker now and we can start doing things like stealing great works. As soon as I do that, we can start getting loads of tourism and I can start to put a lot of pressure on people and go for that French tourism victory. Secret agent as well. Yay, everyone's just doing really well at the moment. Okay, still tech base, 90% chance of working. We like that. And what promotion can we get if spy is in home territory no we don't like that one recruit partisans as if two levels more experience that could be fun i want to send my spies to city states as well we don't do enough of that in these games and that would be relatively amusing there's another city state on side this one i'm just trying to think is that the best one to do or do i go for geneva now to try and switch that one lahore is on island you know what? i'm gonna go for this one train a musket how difficult could train a musket be and i need a catapult still as well why do we not do a catapult how have i not built a catapult everyone what is going on with Ursa what is he doing um, can I even still build a catapult or is it trebuchet now I don't even know what a catapult is. All right, fine, we'll unlock it briefly and then, then we'll start to build one. Look, I'm actually finally starting to build chateau everywhere on my original French continents. We've got a lovely French paradise going on here and I've got other units that are now popping down. 
it's voting time, which is actually a little bit sad because I really enjoyed the city center bonuses that we were getting, but it's fine. First of all, I'd love it if people send trade routes to me, the Black Queen, because I like gossip and I like trade generally. Now, secondly, we need to find somebody that the world hates for public relations. People love voting on option A so that people get more grievances, but normally it's all about somebody who has a bad relation with the rest of the world. We know that one emergency has already gone through against Dido so I'm going to vote against her. I also have 348 diplomatic favour so I'm going to put in I think I can probably do yep six votes on each and we'll see if that goes through. Uh, I've got 48 left maybe that didn't go through oh no I just had some excess yes perfect so look at that we got a point because we got the plus four gold and we also got a point because Dido now has more grievances. Who voted for three? I voted for lots of people. You know what? Like everyone put one vote in. So we forced that through. Now, could we have done that more efficiently? Yeah, absolutely. But it was better to be safe than sorry. Oh, Scotland voted for me. Korea voted for me. Lots of people voted Pericles though. In fact, Pericles got a lot of votes. Glad that we put all those in. Perfect. So there you go. Having a bit of favor meant that we won. All it means is that hopefully people will start to send me a couple of extra trade routes. It might be quite useful. You never know. Next up, do we go for the great work heist immediately with Claude? Hmm, 26% chance of it going wrong. I think I'd rather neutralize the governor. Yeah, that's a better chance for me so we'll go for that let's give it a go and there is mexico city mojico okay regional effects from industrial zones water parks entertainment complexes stretch further that's actually a really handy one to pick up so we'll keep an eye on that as discussed before i just picked up Raina. i'm gonna get her through to contractor in order to start buying districts really cheaply it's quite nice and what i'm doing as well is sending units around the world i only need four era score in eight turns to get myself the golden edge so i plan on basically just going around the world should be pretty easy should be pretty good oh we stole military science hey this spy worked well look at that i've got another promotion what am i going to give you if the spy is in home territory, all my spies operate at plus one level. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I mean, technologist bow is an amazing one. Do I want this governor to... You know what? I'm going to give them quartermaster so that they can come home eventually. But for now, I'm going to just continue. Continue to keep stealing those things. Plus, I found some marsh in what appears to be the south of Ireland, which I'm going to go and settle on. Another French colony. The world won't mind, right? If I just start settling everywhere. I'm sure it will be really chill with that. Anyway, there's the first circumnavigation. So in six turns, we'll have a beautiful location where we can get another golden age. I might even be able to go hick sunk and start putting huge settlements down on other continents. So that could be a fun thing. We could do that. Mogadishu is appearing. We've got so many city states appearing on this map. It's crazy. They want a Eureka for printing. That's two universities. I only have one campus at the moment, so it's unlikely I'm going to get that anytime soon. But you never know. Could be something I pick up soon. Education means we can get shipyards and mass production. I've got so many harbors, that's going to be a very handy thing for me. And I believe we're going to just go and move my, I mean, do I just move my settler straight on? Are there likely to be barbs? We're not sure. No, it's fine, look at that, we're all good. Oh, steal one tech post including printing. I just got asked for printing, so there we go. 90% chance of success. Huzzah, what a, what a result. Master spy, neutralized governor was done. Very good, very good, Claude, you're doing awesome. Oh, Oh, cat burglar steal great works as if two levels more experienced there we go that's the promotion we're looking for let's go and steal ourselves some great works i'm actually very excited about this i very rarely steal works like that it should be this should be an absolute laugh chancery plus three influence points per turn that's really good and whenever i capture or kill a spy I get 50 science for every level of a spy. I mean, it doesn't really come into play very often, but that's 4.5 influence points per turn. Because I'm a monarchy, I get 50% extra. I'll take it. It's awesome. In fact, actually, I need to build the next spy anyway, because I had one extra capacity, so we can do that now. 90% chance to steal a great work, you say? <laughs> oh, those are the odds I will take. Nice. I have a lot of spaces in my capital for great works. A lot of spaces. <laughs> just, I just want it to be all stolen art. That's kind of the, the sort of weird, weird thing I have going with this game. Oh no, printing secrets and failure. <gasps> Agent was killed. No, Anton, he was so good. 
Oh dear, that is that is a tragedy. That is a genuine tragedy. It's quite a low chance that would happen. Oh, I should have known you would use espionage against me. Hmm, well, I think I'll take diplomatic favour, thank you. I, I'm, I'm just going to keep doing it. it. It means nothing to me. Lying, I mean, I'm playing the secrets game. You should know that France is going to steal from you. God, the loss of that spy, that's a, that's a bad one. They were probably my best, they were my quickest spy anyway. A very, very quick one indeed. Mass production, actually that's really handy. That's a really good card. I'm gonna go back and get naval tradition quickly so I can get harbor adjacency bonuses, but I've been meaning to get a little bit more production in my capital. That's a really good way of doing it. So it will give three production to my capital, but also plus one production to all unimproved coast and lake tiles. Now I'm working unimproved one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should give me nine production plus one for about a 10% bonus because it's Calais and Calais happy. So I should go to about 36 production and we'll just let that work itself out. Nope, to 40 production because it's actually going to work some better tiles. I'll actually just let that switch back to what it was because I want it to work a couple of fish. But hey, there you go. That's a much better capital now. Golden Age. So I don't have enough traders at the moment to make reform the coinage worth it. And my faith and gold game isn't good enough to justify monumentality. But Hic Sunk Draconis, this is any city outside of France, which is pretty much all cities, will now get three bonus population when I found it. Oh look, a convenient city that I was just about to found. Ha ha, it's my first one on Marseille. Lovely stuff. It's going to use a cheeky little amount of uh, faith to get the walls, walls, and walls. Look at that, Renaissance walls. Another two diplomatic favor. Oh, isn't it crazy? Now I've got mass production. I think we'll go machinery. I'm going to go banking because I do need to start building commercial hubs for the owls of Minerva. I've got it. It's a really, really good ability being able to buy gilded vaults, but I just haven't really built many commercial hubs at the moment. I will get some, maybe probably in my in my English cities to start with. I haven't really got the space. I guess I do have space in my capital. It's just like I don't want to replace too many of my unique districts. Military emergency? No, I don't want to get involved. As much as I'd love to explore the map, I don't want to get involved in other people's military emergencies. So it's Korea and Byzantium against the Mayans. It's um a world war has broken out in Ireland and we're just going to turn the other way. It's the, it's the inner English in me there. Naval infrastructure is doing good. I'm building spies. Yeah, okay, no, this is all good. We've, we've got a bunch of decent things kicking off in my land at the moment. Oh my goodness, I stole my first great work. The spy did so well. I can form an armada out of a military naval unit now. Quite useful. In fact, I'm just gonna get my great admiral to go and explore. And I think I'm going to steal another great work from this city. Yeah, this is just going to be nothing but stolen work. I love this. This is this is awesome. Now that I have Marseille as a good base, I'm actually going to give it the granary, give it the monument and start to buy some settlers. 920. I have a lot of diplomatic favor, so I can just afford to get rid of bits and pieces here and there. But look, there's another settler. Let's go and spread out a little bit. I built Mont Saint Michel because it was on a marsh tile in a beautiful second city location that, again, it's all about building those envoys, stacking up the tourism and gives me some brilliant slots for relics if I do manage to. I can't steal relics, but I could trade for them in theory. And it would make sure that they were a little bit better. So now that we've got that, I'm just gonna potentially keep an eye out and just see if any relics pop up into the illicit black market. Oh yeah, look, you see, look, you get a tooth of the profit. Lovely, beautiful, lovely stuff. Extra faith, faith is good with the letter on side. Faith is always worth having. I can pick up Mexico City and Rapanoi again. I've got so many city-states this game. Like, I am just the best friend of them. Really, really good for the old culture. Who's this? Cahokia. Nice. Here's Casa, by the way. So, if I have a governor in a city that isn't on my capital, continent, which is France, so basically anywhere outside of France, then the city gets 15% production, faith, and gold. It's a very, very good wonder to stack up some silly little bonuses. Plus, I saw that Dido was building it, so I was like, hee 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 hee, let's go and steal it. So you can see Reina's there, but if I now go for Victor, I'll stick Victor in Ren like so, and then we'll actually, you know, that was Moksha. Okay, Victor will go in Nantes, and then that's okay for now. I'll put Reina. Reina wanted forestry management because she's actually doing really well at generating gold, but I want to get Reina down. Oh no, Reina's over here. Yeah, look at that. There's just a little bit more gold in these cities now. That's, that's cool. 
But with that extra gold, I can start spamming settlers out and making sure that we are getting out there. An inspiration for exploration. That's two caravels, right? I can do that next turn. And catapult, musketman. Did I not build the catapult? I swear I should have built the catapult by now. What is wrong with me? Let's just do that quick. Come on, get the catapult done. Oh, and a spy. Spy, spy, spy. Uh, East driver, if caught on a mission, have a much higher chance of escape. That's awesome. Yes, let's get an ace driver in. Sometimes you just get the promotions and you're like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Let's get another spy in. Perfect. There's a square. Good. Great work heist. Yes, there's another one stolen. Very awesome. Is it worth stealing on again? I think, honestly, Carthage is definitely best. I can't steal from my ally, so... Yeah, back to tire. I'm mean, just trying to think actually, it's more likely to be protected this city, isn't it? I think I'll, I'll, go to, I'll go to this smaller city because there's nothing really here. So the chances of them protecting it are slim. City number two. There we go. Look at this, it's a wonderful city. Get the walls up quick. And if I have a look at the appeal, you can see Ireland is just blessed with high appeal. So you know what, I'm actually going to, because I need to do it for a city-state quest anyway, I'm actually just going to get a preserve down. That's like a weird, weird move, but definitely worth it. So Wulin wanted the catapult. Good, you've now got one. I can now get Caraval and Caraval. Exploration, there you go. Two of them wanted that one as well. Making a huge effort to get the city-state quest. We've got two preserves. Um, well, I can build one preserve and get the boost for both, so that's really cool. Metal casting, that is two crossbows. I think I should be able to do that as well, providing that, you know, I can actually afford another crossbow, which, <laughs> given this economy, who knows? How much nitre have we picked up? Oh, a little. In Ireland, there you go, look. That's a nice settle for us then. I'm disappointed there's none on France. You've got that much marsh, often you can get a lot of nitre in most sort of similar areas, but never mind. Let's try the great work heist again. How many of these things can we steal? Who knows? That is the ancestral hall. Good. Intelligence agency time. Let's get this one finished quickly. All spy operations have a higher chance of success. Plus you get a bonus spy. I like bonus spies. Bonus spies are the best. A special session again. Oh, I don't get invited to these things. I want to get invited to these things. Religious emergency. I guess I don't have a religion. I don't know what religions are. I'm a, you know, very boring, unpious sort of French culture sieve that just kind of exists. I'm happy in what I do, but, you know, I just don't get out that much. Still though, I'm settling very nicely onto Ireland. This is very good fun. I can, I can probably squeeze another couple of cities onto this bit and then we'll head up to Scotland. Disperse clan and civil engineering. Again, I like that one. That gives me public works. It's a really good policy. We've got Harbour Adjacency, Vissel Bank in, Machiavellianism, Diplomatic League. Yeah, very strong set of abilities at the moment. I and mean, here's my third spy. I resurrected one from the dead. They were not doing very good. Format unrest. Mm, sabotage production. That's, I mean, both of these things are really cool. But what's more likely to go off? How how loyal is this city from the Congo? Not that loyal. I'm actually going to try and use them to flip the city. Is that Format unrest? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, that is the loyalty one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It could be fun. It's a good one to train up on, if nothing else. Oh, Gilded Vault time. Gilded Vault time time I've been waiting for this so there's the market and the gilded vault is going to give a nine gold oh, oh, oh that's a nice bonus Colosseum this was built in England so it'll hit three of my cities two culture two loyalty two amenities it was still available so I was like yeah go on then I'll build that that's really cool two extra envoys 100% tourism my tourism slowly starting to build up around 56 tourism per turn not the biggest amount but I think we can get that. There's also Mogadishu and Kamasi back on side. Kamasi, I really wanted that one back. The extra culture and gold from all my trade routes to city states was making a big difference. World Congress time. Let's see what's going on today. Okay, military advisory. Normally people vote on ranged or melee. I have more range, so we're going to go range. We've got 925 favor as well, so that's Fine. I'm also going to just have a quick look at the great people. Now, I'm most interested in admirals, so I think I'm going to vote on admirals. And normally, as, this is deceptive, it says A, that people vote for double. Often people vote for nothing, for B. People like to ban them. If profits are still around, then I think I would normally go for profits. But I'm going to go for admirals because I think with 925 points, I can force admirals 
and then we can hope that the AI goes for B. So we'll do that, and I think what I'll do is I'll just take one vote off because then I can throw yet yeah, another three votes into range. So we'll go five for A on ranged, and then 13 for Admiral on B. Let's see if that goes through. You can see I really don't have much diplomatic favor, so that's always a very good sign. Ranged went through perfect and you can see that nobody really voted on anything so my five votes forced that through i think it probably would have been oh who knows i think ranged would have won that one so maybe we could have saved a couple of votes on that but otherwise what are you gonna do um oh look byzantium went b on admiral it's just for weird people just vote b on stuff all the time and admiral seems to be always taken out it's always my go-to yeah just seems to work really well. One more city on Ireland. Lovely. Yes, yes. I'm actually getting proper builders in these cities now, which is awesome. Another great work. Stolen printing gives me even more tourism from them. So we're up to 74 tourism per turn now. Very good. And if you don't mind me, I'm just going to take over Kabul because I can. Oh yeah, world's first. Look at that. That's cool. Actually, some space in Northern Ireland. So once we're out of space in Southern Ireland, we can just move our units around and go and settle over there as well. We're just going to settle everywhere. I want to get as many theatre squares down eventually as I can. It doesn't really matter where we go. Let's just keep stealing great works. We've now got three of them. Very good. But it can only get better, really. Now, I can unlock for myself the Guard Imperial. They are 70 strength line inventory. They are really, really good. I would only get the combat bonus if they fight on my own territory, though so that's a little bit rubbish i can't really use them to invade i think i might go for let's go for industrialization i might just see if i can stick a factory down on this continent i really kind of could use that let's just yeah you know what? i'm just gonna do it let's just plonk it down and then i can put a factory in and all three of these cities will get a lovely bonus and actually, I just picked up Contractor. Contractor's quite fun. That means I can just insta-build districts. I might have to just have a think about this one. Marseille is a fantastic place. What does Eastern Orthodoxy do? Is that Feed the World? Oh, it is Feed the World. You know what? I'm going to treat myself to Feed the World. We're going to do it. Um, I think I'm going to go on this tile because then it will give me more appeal on the tiles that are just about to surround that preserve. And then I'll get myself the shrine afterwards. Lovely. That's awesome. So I did a very silly thing and I just moved a settler in front of the barb. But if I go all the way over to Scotland and to this barbarian encampment, I can buy a caravel and the closest city is my city in Northern Ireland. So in we come and huzzah, we save the day. Goodness me, that was a bit of a clutch play. My fourth spy. If this spy is in home territory, enemy spies in my lands operate one level below usual. Okay, that's fun, but breach dam? Oh, I could go and see if I could breach a dam. It's almost too good. Dude, where's the nearest dam? I've got to actually go and find one. I don't know if I've seen a dam, actually, to be fair, but if I can find one, you know what, so that might have been, oh no, there is, Aberdeen. Okay, right, off to Aberdeen with you. I just lost a grip on this city-state, but it's okay because I can immediately, I think, get it back with a trade route. Oh no, I just need one more. So Venice and... Oh, goodness me. I need more trade routes. I, I am trying to build them as I go. I've got lots of harbours being put down. In fact, actually, veterans is probably better than raid. I've had raid for ages. Why am I... Why is that card in there? Who knows? Limes. I'm kind of praying limes into existence at the moment, so maybe that's not the best thing. I'll go for equestrian orders because I'm selling my horses and my iron quite effectively still harbors good public works good this bank are good machiavellianism good diplomatically good i think uh, this is all good otherwise i'm happy with how things are zanzibar i'm not the first to meet them but i'm not far off the first which is cool the preserve's almost finished to get a ranger and a privateer going i think i could do both i don't think i've unlocked rangers but privateers i definitely have unlocked there you go there's privateer which one was that one that was not sure didn't check <laughs> it's one of them yeah yeah okay no we're, we're doing good we're doing good there we go foment unrest we can start this already now this city has it's got plus 13 loyalty but that's only because the congo's in the normal age we can probably knock that city down a little bit plus it's just really a good way of training that's the main reason i'm using that as an action at the moment oh and we stole something else that's the fourth piece of um writing or or artwork generally that's been stolen what did i steal this time yep another piece of writing that is i mean honestly that spy is just loving life i'm desperately trying to remember but i don't remember a time when i had a more successful spy like 
This is going insane. Stall economics. Perfect. That's another spy. What can you get this time? You had Ace Driver. Ace Driver's good. Oh, Fabricate Scandal. Actually, that's a really handy one. We can take you over to... I think I might go and try and steal Geneva. I've been meaning to try and steal that city-state for some time, and that is a perfect excuse. Oh, I just got culture bombed. That's not fun. Go on, go. Don't do that. They must do it on their unique neighborhood district these days. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, I'm pretty miffed about that, but we'll, we'll forgive them for now. Do you know, I'm going to stay in steel tech just for a second. I'm, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying these tech boosts. Ooh, Byzantium has declared war on Korea, which means I'm now at war with Byzantium. Interesting. I'm far enough away from them, but it's not a problem. I could, in theory, start to kill Byzantium's prophets and apostles and things like that. That would be relatively amusing. We'll kind of keep an eye out for that stuff. That's fine. So two envoys with Zanzibar. Bam. They are now on side with me, and all my cities now have two sets of extra luxuries. That makes them even more powerful. Very happy with that one. A couple of traders over to Venice. Venice is giving me some delicious extra gold on my trade routes, which combines with Kamasi really well. Secret agent in Quilla. Cool. Okay, unrest was sent through the city. It's like, you know, not very effective at all, but it means I've got another promotion now. Neutralize governor, disrupt rocketry. Siphon funds. Yes, let's do a siphon funds. That's lovely. Industrialization! I actually do have spots for a couple of factories which will make a big difference because I have Mexico City. That gives me three tiles further on all of my factories. I can put one in Nantes to make all my English cities work and I'm kind of tempted to do the same thing on France somewhere. Could be quite good. We have six turns by the way to make seven era score. I I think I should be able to do that. Looking at all of my different routes here, I've got wonders that are being produced. That wonder will be finished, hopefully, Tari de Belem, before we go through. I finished my preserve. Oh, perfect. Actually, I've got to get the grove because the grove, oh, look at that. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful city now. That's, that's lovely. You love to see it. <laughs> Tale of Genji, we're just going back for more. More great works. More. I've stolen five so far. And I need to go to the person who's earning the most gold. It's got to be, it's got to be Dido, isn't it? Now, does she have any actual commercial hubs or is it all harbours? Yes, there is a commercial hub, but it's in quite a small city. Uh, it's pretty big. Okay, right, you know what? We're going to give it a go. I'm going to try and siphon some funds. I very rarely siphon funds because normally I just don't believe it's worth it. It's, you don't get enough, but I'm here to be impressed by the power of spies. Ballistics has just been stolen. That's <laughs> so many successful spy projects going on here. I'm I'm staggered. Oh, I'm the first to meet Nalanda, apparently. Yay! We like that. That's fun. Let's go breach the dam in Scotland. Oh, it's so worth it. It's such a pointless project, but I love it so much. So let's get some era score, shall we? Factory is good. I need a coal power plant, so let's just sell 10 of this finest diplomatic favour. Only the best. There's the coal power plant. Next turn that'll generate electricity and we'll get Torre de Bellam. I mean, I only needed four points, so I didn't need to do both of those things that turn, but still gives me what I want to see. Colonialism. I'm going to get colonial taxes, actually. 25% gold and 10% production in all cities not on my continent. That's all of my city except two of them, so I'll take that. That's really cool. Beast Torre Beast. de Bellam. There we go. International trade routes from this city, which is in England, receive two gold for every luxury resource at the destination. Delightful. I also get the lowest production city center building they can currently construct as long as the city's not in France. So I should be getting quite a few extra walls and things like that. And there's the power generation as well. So it's all it's all looking good, really. We're, we're pretty happy with that. Let's just pick up our ma. I'm just every now and then a city state will flip away from me and that's fine. They can do what they want as long as they know that eventually everyone will come crawling back to me. Siphon funds, 400 gold. You know what? It's kind of worth it. Oh, everyone's at war with the Dutch, by the way. Um, they kind of joined in on something at some point, so I invited the world into this war. It's relatively amusing. I've been quite a lot of gold from it because 
I'm just literally pillaging everything. <laughs> so we have the option now to upgrade Owls of Minerva even further as soon as I get an extra governor title. And I will do that because indoctrination gives me a wildcard policy slot, but more importantly, plus two spy capacity. Oh yes, we like a little bit of extra spy capacity and uh, Korea's city which they settled on island I've picked up as well. So that's quite fun. Congo is in a dark age as are the Mayans. England's doing fine. Yeah, okay, this is all pretty decent. What else do I wanna go for now? Oh, I'm looking forward to using spies effectively with a golden edge. I think that's the next one. So we'll keep an eye out for the glory of that. In the meantime, I think I'm still gonna go and settle Scotland. So Hicks Hunter Connors, it's gonna be the next one for me again. A simple pleasure, but here's a settler and I can get a boat back soon and just go and sail around. I'm not gonna miss Northern Ireland, I think. We're gonna go straight into Scotland and just settle up. There's so many luxuries and coal and all the good stuff up here that I'm just gonna go and steal. Oh, I stole another great work. That's six now. Six that I've stolen. Brilliant. What is Greece thinking right now? Like, where is everything going? And why is Claude such a good museum manager at a museum that keeps getting stolen from? Like, who is he and why is he here? Oh, grants three envoys at the city-state. That's a fantastic merchant. And, oh, come Massey wanted that as a quest as well, so that's that's lovely. Can we finally make peace of Byzantium? Yes. Stop attacking my allies, friend. I just want to be I want to be happy and peaceful. Goodness me! Considering I had so little land, my capital is doing absolutely amazingly. 16 population. It's got 55 science, 113 culture. It's a monster, and more importantly, it knows it. It knows that it's a monster. I'm going to get an industrial zone in here now. Clear the marsh. Clear the chateau. Don't need them anymore. We've transcended such things. Let's get Brussels back on side. In fact, I. I think we can probably steal Geneva now. Been waiting to do that for some time, so well, boom! I am at war, so I'm not gonna get the bonus for a second, but I will get it soon. Well, that's a good card. Colonial taxes. I think I do want that. I'm gonna put it instead of Diplomatic League for now, but there's a lot of, I mean, Raj is an amazing card as well. I need as many diplomacy slots as possible. We're gonna go mobilization, mass media, ideology, and then democracy. That gives me as many as I can put into one government without going really late into the game. Breach dam successful, replaceable parts stolen. My spies are just having a heyday at the moment. I can steal sanitation now as well. Oh, one more spy, this time Christoph. Hello, Christoph. Disrupt rocketry, counter spy, polygraph. I think sometimes they're just proving difficult. I'm going to go for polygraph because I think that's useful in the longer run, but we'll see. See about that one. How's Vilnius coming along? I'm just on a quest to convert as many city states over to my side as possible. I'm on about half of them at the moment, which is pretty good. You'll see why I've uh, named this city as such now. A spy from the Scottish Empire was captured during. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's me stealing gold, by the way. During a siphon funds mission in the city of You Lose. Sorry, Scotland, but You Lose. <laughs> ah, also, I have a fleet of caravels now, killing any barb galley that wants to get close to me. Ugh, terrible. I'm just, I'm, I'm remaining friends with my friends at the moment. I probably could try and convert the world to a little bit more friendship, but there's no real need at the moment. I've got enough friends and I don't need to go any further. Next up, I think I'm gonna continue stealing from Carthage. Yeah, I like this. This plan is pretty good. Let's go to Byblos this time. Uh, there's a few things to do in this city. And yeah, I just, I, I feel like sometimes if you're stealing tech, you wanna go outside of the main capital cities because there is a much smaller chance that the AI will actually be protecting them with counter spies. If you're going to put a counter spy anywhere, you put it in your capital, right? It's just logic. And I'm not saying for a second that logic was another piece of art. I'm not saying that logic is anything that the AI does regularly, but you know, sometimes they can surprise you. Venetian Arsenal, you say, well, I guess if you insist that I build it, I, I shall. Oh, lovely. It's got a workshop in my capital and a factory in my capital and a coal power plant. Oh, that's a very good city all of a sudden. Lovely. You, you love to see it. Look at how many city-states want the Eureka for sanitation. Five of them, including two that I haven't got any envoys with. So that's, that's really handy. We've got to get the Eureka for sanitation. That's to build two neighborhood districts. 
think we can do that fairly easily. In fact, I think even in Ireland, I have Marseille. And Marseille can build a neighborhood for just over a thousand gold from scratch. So, I mean, we could just build one in, you know, very, very small amount of turns as well. So I could just do that. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that next turn. I like, I like this. This is cool. Oh, we stole another spy. Yep. You lose again. It's uh, the same thing over and over and over. Let's have a look. Mission history. Off the trade. I have two spies that I've stolen at the moment. Oh, tech boost failed, but I, it was undetected. Okay, so it's kind of like a partial loss, but still slightly scary. Indoctrination. Perfect. Wildcard policy slot. That's what I've been looking for for a while, as well as two extra spy capacity. Lovely. Let's stick this in. We've got Machiavellianism. We need to do that again because our spies are just working so well for us at the moment. It's mad. But Diplomatic League. I need this one because I'm still getting uh, beautiful, beautiful new trade with a lot of new city-states. It's great. And finally, a very special shout-out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Dayboy91, Sean Critties, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra, Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Emir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radio Torre, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support as well as everybody that leaves comments and interacts with the channel generally. Thank you so much. See you all next time.